Hey lightweights, and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Mirage. Just a little heads up that I am expecting a delivery and the delivery window was anywhere between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Because that's a small window that's very helpful. <laughs> Literally all day. Uh, so I have my phone on ringer. If it rings in the middle of the video, I apologize. Hopefully it's in a point where I can just cut it out and you don't notice anyways. But just in case it like happens in the middle of a cutscene, I'm sorry, but this is a very special delivery, so I need to be there. Anyways. All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <sighs> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. She looks really annoyed. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? Nothing good. The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? <laughs> I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. Slaver. Members of the Order of the Ancients lead double lives. Each keeps their identity secret from the public and is assigned a code name. Find enough clues to unmask the Order members. They could turn out to be someone whom you thought you could trust. Ooh. Is that foreshadowing? An 
all their member is within our reach, Bassam. And like those before and those yet to come, Alvo's death will be just. This is a man who prays off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for Albu is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while Albu is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Bas. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain, beholden to your guidance, Master. Wait, how do I get off? <laughs> get off the damn horse! As busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights under. Oops. I've been so bad about that Livestock, in this game. Caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Damn, we got good vision. Go now. Wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. That was cool. That transition was awesome. Okay, Ahul revealed as Masood al Yaqub is a member of the order who preys on the desperate and disenfranchised, forcing them to dig in the desert for reasons unknown. One way he achieves this is by using his public status as a soap mill owner to quietly acquire migrant laborers eager for the promises of livelihood. The caravan Sarai is where he conducts such dealings. Look for distraction opportunities to lure Ahul out. I should have lots of coins because I've pickpocketed the stage is yours, lots of people. I will be watching. Go, Enkidu. What is the delay? I am not so sure. Some guards came poking around on order. What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. He's a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure and hold out. We will be here until next sundown. Get in the water. Spices and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. What? We will promise steady work and fruitful returns. 
Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before Al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce. Okay, so if he doesn't turn around, I should be okay to get this guy. <laughs> Then let's hide these bodies. No, oh my god. <laughs> Nobody gets past me. Shit. Why are there three men just standing there with their. What is. What are, they, what are you guys doing? <laughs> just hanging out, all buddy buddy. Yeah! Hmm. Oh, hey, Pungent. This must be the caravan merchant's crate. Okay, so now I gotta get out of here. If I just drop it off the side, is it gonna, <laughs> is it gonna break it? Can I do that? All right, we're just gonna run out this way. Work smarter, not harder. That probably should have been my mantra the entire time I was doing that, but you know. Better late than never. Is that what I it is, it is what is you think this it your is. Crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very Unwillingly. good. Unwillingly. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice. Are you Not me that? No. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya Sadiqi. <laughs> oh, that was nerve wracking. Yeah, my outfit doesn't stand out at all with these guys. They're all wearing the same thing, and then there's me. <laughs> Come on, dude, keep up. Word will surely get to any reason your expectation is Come out and spectate. I offer a coward. There he is. You have seen my chance. This ends now. Nice. <laughs> Um. Okay. Made a bit more of a spectacle out of it than I thought we were going to, but all right. <laughs> Got the job done. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened, the feeble who have cast their lot. It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts. 
destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Don't like it, don't like it. I'll Assassin's Focus! When out of conflict, trigger Assassin's Focus with R3 to execute a perfect sequence of assassinations. While Assassin's Focus is active, select which enemies to target with R1 and press X when done. Bassin will perform the assassination sequence automatically. Replenish the focus bar by performing stealth kills in order to be able to use the ability again. Up to clear your mind. Al Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty but for the Hidden Ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. <laughs> we are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is set out. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe.
Basim? It's really you? Nihal. Mm. I... Huh. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I'm gonna hit you or hug you. I am as sorry as you. I have so much to tell you. And I you. We will grant each other an audience. But first, I must know something. What? Why are you dressed like a peasant? <laughs> Perhaps I have less to tell you than I thought. I think I can surmise what our time apart has been like for you. And you? You have not been living here, I hope. <laughs> less living, more working. On what? Why do I know this? Because you have seen it. On the object we found at the Winter Palace. I have been trying to remember the specifics of its design. You have spent all this time obsessing over this symbol? Why? Because I too have seen it before. I know not where or when. Only that I have. Whatever it is, it calls to me. I intend to unravel its mystery, and so should you. Ah, but of course. Duty calls. Stop. I will bear it in mind if it means you will spend more time outside these musty walls than you do within. You really do spare a thought for everyone, don't you, Basim? Araki Lahika. That's it. We haven't seen you in like forever, and we're just gonna spend two minutes with you. Far from defeated, Master Roshan is certain to have a plan brewing to uproot them. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on al Ghul, Fula quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Tebid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to al Abbasia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karg, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Um, wow, okay. A silent projectile capable of putting targets to sleep. That is what I want. This should serve me well. My thanks, Ahmad. It's Abu Jaf. <laughs> oh, you jest. <laughs> Every now and again. Araka lahikan, Abu Jafar. Keep well. And you, Basim. Huh. That is a lot of books. Oh, oh, do, do not think I am a librarian. I am a writer. Many of these are my own works. Though I do collect, it is true. This city hides other rare and ancient tombs. If you should find one, bring it here. I'll make it worth your time. Ha! Very good! It is certain no other in the city has seen this. If you find any more, I am here. Two out of six. Do you have something for me? Not as yet. Oh, perhaps next time we will both. Oh, shit, okay. Look, where's the door to this place? Ah, I see our new Abbasiyah bureau is well guarded by an alert and active Rafiq. Bassem, <laughs> you startled me. I was just enjoying some poetry. Oh, <laughs> who's? The court poet. Sayida Arib. Her words chirp like the birds of paradise. Ah, uh, yes. I have read her works. 
My friend Nihal and I used to sneak into the House of Wisdom when we were young. Hours we spent reading of gods and jinn. I always enjoyed this place. The House of Wisdom is not what it once was. Hmm. Is not our friend Ahmad ibn Musa there? He went to his workshop, as I recall. Yes. I sent a message for him to come and help set up this bureau, but he never replied. My spies could not contact him. That's Our not good. Has passed, and he cannot be found. So, one of the famous Banu Musa is missing in the House of Wisdom. Yes. Venture there and learn his fate. It shall be done. What the heck? People, calm yourselves. The fire was small and has been contained. Allah's wrath is upon us. Most of our books are safe. The danger has passed. Old man, how did this fire start? Old man? <laughs> Fazil Fahim is old. As old as the House of Wisdom, which he commands. Forgive me, Ustadi. I spoke in haste. Can I help? No. The fire has been quenched by the Watermaster's bucket brigades. Who started these fires? Ruffians, I suppose. Enemies of the Khalifa, to be exact. What sort of books were they burning? It is too soon to tell. Perhaps the caretaker of books would know. I am searching for Ahmad ibn Musa. Ah, yes. He has a workshop here, but I have not spoken to him lately. Peace be upon you, Elder. I shall go. I still need to find Ahmad ibn Musa. Hmm. But I should also speak to the caretaker of books in the library. <laughs> Greetings, Yaham. If I may, where is the scholar Ahmad ibn Musa? Ah, yes. The most adventurous of the Banu Musa. His workshop is right behind me. Thank you, Yaham. The hallway. Bassam, hey! Nine fingers over here! <laughs> Nihal! What do you have there, sneak thief? A book. I managed to save at least one from the fire. If they catch you stealing. They cut off a finger. No, wait. A whole hand. That is not funny. Then don't laugh. All right, you are in a mood, and I have things to do. Nothing that concerns you. Oh, secret hidden one stuff. What are you doing this time? Stabbing? Stealing? Stabbing and then stealing? That is your specialty, Nihal. <gasps> Just because you lost a Oof. finger does not mean you've lost your touch. I don't know. I want a Chester, but that one... All these tools and books looks like Ahmad's room. But where is he? That one thing that was like, people you may trust could be in the order. It makes me nervous. Another book of poetry by Harib. David would love this. Measuring tools, like my father used to own. But these are Ahmad's. Ahmad always signs his work. This is definitely his doing. Ah, wow. Very cool. It's genius, actually. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> Ooh, an ostrich. There was a book or something to collect Ahmed over here. seems to be working on something new. But what? Diagrams, machine tools, and other oddities. This is definitely Ahmad's workshop. But where can he be? Pardon me. May I help you? Oh, stop walking and I'll talk to you. I am looking for Ahmad ibn Musa. Do you know where I can find him? I may be able to help you. Follow me. You're gonna attack me. I don't trust anybody in this. Is this your first visit to the House of Wisdom? No. 
A friend and I used to sneak in as kids. We taught ourselves to read in your library. All young people should follow your worthy example. The caretakers who chased us out of the stacks every day did not think so. Merely doing the jobs. And what did you study in the House of Wisdom? I loved poetry and heroic tales. My friend preferred pagan gods and dark magic. Interesting. <laughs> and did you follow your youthful passion and become a scholar? When the whole world awaits. No. You might say I am a man on a mission. Ah, well. What about your friend? No, no, she... still searches for something. Though what that is, I do not know. A shame. It's not far now. Hurry, hurry. Like God, help! I'm I knew it. Freaking knew it. You lied! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, locking on is bad. Locking on does not, not do well for me right now. See, this is hard when freaking Red Boy over here. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, I needed that health. <laughs> okay, now I can lock on. Oh. Okay. So I need a parry. So he does a red and then a parry. And that should be... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I keep dodging instead of attacking. <laughs> How do I dodge to his back? Oh, man. Attack! What is happening? I'm literally mashing the freaking R1 and he's just, they're both just standing there. What in the jank? Yeah, you're so dead, dude. Like, so dead, dude. Don't hurt me. You literally just had to have me murdered. I should slay you where you stand. Spare kindly, Hamid. Then tell me. Where is Ahmad ibn Musa? Please, sir. I don't know where he is. Truly, I do not. Then why then did you send me to my death? why lead me into an ambush? He... He made me do it. Who is he? Not Ahmad, surely. I don't know his name. For he always wears a mask. And what does this masked man want? He commands me to keep everyone away from the House of Wisdom stick site. Or else... Or else what? He will hurt my head. Like with the others. Please, spare humble Hamid. Where is this dig site? It's in the wilderness. Outside of the city. Hey, let me draw you a map. I still don't trust you. The map should lead me to the dig site. Where is Hunayn? He owes me money. A partial list know. of books that were burned or gone missing. What is an ancient uh, manuscript in unknown tongue? Interesting. I should check the second floor. <laughs> the library is guarded. Something must have happened. Okay, might be in the southwest wing. But this is a life. Hey! A oh, shit! <laughs> you. The pleasure <laughs> well, that was not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Parkour master! <laughs> Definitely exactly where I meant to go. What? Hey, please! Oh, no! 
That is so satisfying. Is that him? Hey, what's going on? I just want to know how to whistle. So what if I just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that? The caretaker of books. And a little bit of... He's dead. But he wrote Mansach in his own blood. I wonder. I would really just like to, to just stabby stabby this guy. Yeah, that was just needed. Something in his hand. Fabric. Torn from a woman's gown. But whose? Strange fires and a dead caretaker. Horrifying. I should hurry. Bear the prisoner on Zahra's order. A prisoner? What? Here. That guard might have the key. <laughs> Did you see him just dodge my throwing knife? He's like, whoa. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shot my frickin' bird! Now you get yours. And Kidu can explore safely now. Oh. Gotta be quick on the draw. So obviously I've been here before in my little escapades of looting everything and clearing out the map. So that's why I've got that open already. What? Anyone see what's going on? If someone Hold comes on. begging for death. We will rip your guts out. Okay. I mean, you can try. I don't think it will go very well for you, but I mean, who am I to tell you you can't try and do something? All right. So I got the pickup throwing knives thing, but the problem is their bodies dissolve, so it's hard to remember where the throwing knives were. There they are. That's just fine too. Wait, just. <laughs> All right, let's go. I have the key, hello. Why can't I? <gasps> Why can't I interact with that? I'm over here. Boop. Wait, what? Maybe I didn't like that this guy was alive. Yep. He wasn't anywhere near the door, but they didn't want him to be alive. Don't kill me. Please. Give me more time. I... I almost cracked it. Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. What are you trying to crack? The book. I said I couldn't. This is not a language I know, but she gave me no choice. Who? A woman named Zahra. One of the scholars here. What is this book? What is it called? The only thing I know is that it is written in a script unlike any other. And I have seen hundreds. The way Zara talks, it's more of an artifact or relic than a book. I uh, lied about my progress so they wouldn't kill me. I can't read a single word. I don't even know if it's a language. Where can I find Zahra? I don't know. She could be anywhere in the city. I... 
I just want to go home. All right, get to safety before the guards return. They're not returning, I killed them. There must be something here to help me. Okay, Zara. Totally not even how you say that, it's fine. I have tried every language I know, every trick in my translator's bag of tricks, but this ominous book resists all elf, all elferts? All efforts to translate it. What else can I do? Huna Yin, the translator. This book makes me uncomfortable. I will leave it here. An orderly poem to my Alzarik. Demoness green and yellow too, my dragon's kiss I leave upon you. As the wise poet Arib once wrote, you are my law, you are my order. Al Azdaha. This order letter mentions Arib. An innocent reference, or something more sinister. Probably more sinister, but who the heck knows? Book deliveries. Zara wants the additional books taken from the House of Wisdom to be delivered directly to her personal residence at the Scholar's Estate. Do not bring them here. This letter gives the location of the Scholar Zahra's Estate. Time to visit Zahra's Estate and see if she is involved with the Order. I mean, obviously. Obviously, she is. Such a melody suits my mood of late. I don't really know what the point of that was, but. <laughs> nobody's home. Now is my chance to search her place. Oh, okay, so it's supposed to be empty. Okay, at least that one wasn't bad. Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. A humble request. Zara, I hear that the priceless artifact you hold is nearly ready to reveal its secrets. You know my searches for the traces of those who came before and the care with which they are affected. Once your academic interest is sated, I should like to have the manuscript in my keeping. It would be treated with supreme reverence and safeguarded against all peril, Al Ghul. Oh, nope. Zahra right here. is definitely tied to the order, <laughs> along with somebody named El Rabisu. El Zarik, the Order is pleased with our accomplishments within the House of Wisdom. The future will sing tales of our glorious deeds and the prospect of our rule. I trust you are on your way back to the city to await further instructions. Al Rabisu. Learned all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. Oh, okay. Easy. Three guards. Prepare a glass of dead juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates. Oh, that sounds good. Then prepare the bath salts. I am utterly beat. Seems like a charming, nice lady. Mm. Paradise is where you find it. That old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah. Of course, say that. The real answers are in books. They are always in books. Am I not right? Always. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. What? Oh, 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 that was cool. Turn and fight. Oh my god, that was so good. That was like my best work yet. Okay, that wasn't. Zahra thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Hunayn could not translate a single word. Come here, boys. <laughs> oh, okay, I got a little cocky. It's fine. I got a little cocky. What? Okay, that time I should have gotten it. That was too good. 
To be fair, I think I deserve to be a little cocky after that because I was fucking beautiful until that point. I should look for other leads in Abathia. Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Mercenaries guarding the site. They must have found something important. When do we get paid? That would be why they look like they should be attacking me, but they're not. Are you the leader of this battle scarred band of war dogs? You must get paid well. Not as much as we want to get paid, I'll tell you that. Care to do a little work for me? Maybe. What's this job then? See those fancy Khalifa's men over there? I might need a hand. Hmm. Let's work something out. Spoken like a true mercenary. Here is a token of my appreciation. Hey, it's honest work. <laughs> get paid. One way or the other. Okay, and then... Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. Okay, so going to steal yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, I want to vomit. Whatever you do, what don't the... guide me, Enkidu. if there are any more chests around. Are you kidding me? Eyes, I kind of forgot I had that thing that makes everybody in the area fall asleep. Whoops. This chest has Ahmed's signature seal. Brother Ahmad, exciting is. news. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a doctor ah, Hassan. Fucker. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. Ah. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? It must all link together somehow. The Bimaristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. It is best never to speak of these things. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. No admittance without proper authorization. Please look for the head nurse if you need any help. Okay, head nurse! I'm sick! <coughs> I need help. symbol of the order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. I don't think it's supposed to stick out like that at the end. This letter proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. The efficacy of our discovery. My dear Al-Rabisu, work on the device progresses wonderfully. The engineer will un unwittingly provide us the key to unlock its infinite potential. The new parts I mentioned last time are en route to the House of Wisdom. The hour of our order is at hand. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No, 
That's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burn victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. A broken window could be a way in. I demand immediate attention to the broken window above my laboratory. There are adequate materials in the storm to affect the repair immediately. If I catch a fatal chill due to your negligence, you shall answer to the Caliph personally. All right, so up we go. The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Oh. What just happened? Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? This dude's in the order. Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim, because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. Do I? You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul, if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands. Isn't it, Basim? I don't trust that guy. Nope. Nope. A bloody mess, head bandages, but this is a hospital after all. Basim, join me on the roof. Basim, <laughs> I knew it was you. You are not the only one with eyes that see afar. So, Tabid, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies. Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon. It can be used for good or ill. And the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people, lethally. I have stopped them for now, but someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go, spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. 
We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. I'm ready. Where is Arib al Ma'munia, the boy? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh! Perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, hello. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what are you following me? Back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Okay, what are we doing? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Oh, Basim. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, Sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. <laughs> there is that poet the bid loves whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit.
Planet of the Sands. Excuse me. Ode to Al Bahamut. We are bring to our ears from your wind touched lips. The mirage is so the kiss that grips. We are born upon the back of Bahamut below. All that bars us from the black is Bahamut below. All should fall to chaos but for Bahamut Bahamut below. Our weakness would betray us but for Bahamut below. Far too great for mortal eyes is Bahamut below, and so the ignorant despise Al Bahamut below. Yet those wise enough to love Al Bahamut below shall ever shepherd those above to Al Bahamut below. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. The translator? What is he still doing here? Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. We're down. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. <laughs> I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. <laughs> Pardon me. Is Fazil Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. I do please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom. Center of learning in Baghdad. Indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa. First scholar of the House of Wisdom. Wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today, I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood? who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayyidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please. Feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. I thought he was also told not to kill him in front of people. <laughs> he is about to defy his orders. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? 
Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice that for every cool. soul you savaged for your great work. Twas a great transition. Assassinate Fazil the, the Great Scholar. The leader of the Order of the Abbasia goes by the name of Al-Rabisu, an ancient Mesopotamian Mesopotamian word for demon. Now he stands revealed as Fazil al Kemsa, -Kem the great scholar of the House of Wisdom. From illicitly acquiring valuable books to conducting unholy experiments on human subjects, he is a living example of the perversion of knowledge. The great symposium has revealed him. Now it's time to strike. Look for intel to uncover Al Rabisu's location. It is true. Fazil leads the order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. How exciting. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe... He hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. <laughs> Keep to the roof, I say. Plenty of work to do up here. Safe retour. Avoid dark hallways, especially after the murder in the library. What's this place coming to? And those screams from the basement. Makes my stomach crawl to hear such pain. Okay, Basim, come on. <laughs> this key could be useful. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. What? I've lost Fossil's greatest work. Okay. Library lockdown. Staff, by order of the Great Scholar, the second floor library is off limits. Guards have been stationed to prevent unauthorized entry while our investigation into recent thefts and other crimes continues. The following rules now apply. Only the caretaker of books may enter. All others will be treated as trespassers. Trespassers will be detained and slain if they resist. What do you mean you lost the Great Scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fuzzle's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. That book looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history hey. of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom of by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. After Fazil Fahim al Kemsa was appointed as the head of the House of Wisdom, conditions improved immediately. Rare books from around the world were gathered, false scholars were dismissed, and a virtuous new circle of educated and enlightened leaders led the House of Wisdom into a brand new era. This is an excerpt of a long work extolling the scholarship and virtues of the great scholar. 
Looks like somebody left a book in the stairwell. Dearly beloved, Fuzziel's work, despite its flaws, has inspired me to bravery. Meet me on the stairway down the hall. I'll be waiting with our favorite piece of literature. Caretaker, I have new instructions regarding the library's book collection. Books authored by the great scholar Fuzziel must be held in a special collection for security reasons. Specifically, the title of his book on astronomy is being used as a coded phrase. Burn this note upon receipt. Okay, so... We're getting closer. I better not use my weapons here. The Folly of Poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. Furthermore, poetry distracts young scholars from their proper and primary duty of soaking up the wisdom dripping from their superiors. <laughs> Students must behave like sponges, absorbing knowledge, not like foolish barnyard animals, their passions aroused by useless verses. This is an excerpt. Okay, that didn't help me. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. My friend, many thanks for granting me access to the private reading balcony in the Northwest. I find it ideal for my discreet astronomical observations. I may have left Fuzziel's astronomy text there. Did anyone find it? Last time you're allowed to read there. An impressive volume, written by Fazil Fahim, could be his masterwork. Its title is, Those Who Came Before Are Those Who Shall Return. This has to be it. Okay. That took way longer than I was expecting. Those who came before are those who shall return. I better not use my weapons here. Gatekeeper, those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed! The Great Scholar commands. Staff, yes, it is true our scholars need a clean workspace, but do not disturb me with trivia about cleaning, dusting, and lost books. Show some initiative. I am busy with my great work in the basement. Further interruptions shall result, shall result in a flogging. Al Rabisu, you consider yourself the great scholar, do you not? And as you will tell anything with ears, Al Ra is your great work? Why then, with such an abundance of greatness, is there such a lack of progress? You gave assurances, I expect you to honor them. El Mardiquar. Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Wait, just a Deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. No subject shall enter if they are not wearing their robes. You may find the appropriate garb in the room adjoining the recuperation cells. What have they done to these people? Poor guy will not need this anymore. No. This should help me blend in. Ah, yes. The medallion is not at all obvious. <laughs> Please, take me back there. 
long here. Next subject! In here, now! I guess that's us. There are horrors here, but the most terrifying thing is that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud. In here, Lackwit. Who are you call Lackwit? Participate in the ritual. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a sacrifice. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance, and upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Justice. <laughs> Justice. I am passive. This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter but in the end all we see is darkness that is I need to get out of here get back to the bed Basim ibn Ishaq How did you find this place Easy I just followed the trails of blood You should not be here Talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... Since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... This light... 
These sounds... You cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours? This repulsive shadow that crushes your chest? Has it crawled back into the past too? No. It is still here. Sometimes, even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality, too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. I still don't know if I can trust her. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper. Basim. It is done. And how did it all play out? I'm afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But I think she is involved vigilant. in the bigger picture, though. Because she had that poem about Bahamut. He was writing... Or he got a... Um, Farik got a letter from Bahamut. So Bahamut is clearly in the order... I don't know if the Bahamut she's referring to is the guy whose codename is Bahamut or not, but it seems like it's definitely a possibility. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. So we are one step closer to getting to the big wig. Um, definitely not surprising that the leader of the House of Wisdom was corrupt and part of the order. But that sequence was cool, like doing the different eavesdropping and then having to find the book that had the password to get into the door. All of that was really cool. And again, I feel like there it was possible there's other ways to do that because they mentioned um, a trap door, which I didn't find. And then the door we walked out of wasn't barred on the other side. So I wonder if there was like different ways I could have gotten into the basement. Um, I don't know if there were, but it definitely seemed like that's a possibility. And that's one thing that I really have to sing the praises of this game for is it seems like there are a variety of ways to do things. Uh, and I think that's really cool. And I, I like how each assassination is like an event in terms of like the little cutscene that leads up to it, the cutscene that's afterwards. Obviously, with the other games, when you would assassinate somebody, there was a little cutscene too. But I just feel like they're in this game, the assassinations are more like just the only word I can think of is cinematic. <laughs> Someone else can probably articulate it much, much better than I could. But um, that's one of the, the things that I really love about this game. And I do love how, like I mentioned previously, it's almost like little puzzles. Like you have to get all of the different pieces in order to do the assassination. So you have to eavesdrop to learn this. And then once you learn that, you have to find that. And once you find that, you have to unlock this. And I just think that's really cool and much different than what we've been getting from the recent Assassin's Creed games. And um, I'm really enjoying that. And I hope you are as well. If you are, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.